You want uh, you want some Jamie Foxx? You want some Brad Pitt? You want the two and a half uh, men guy? Oh, that two and a half men guy. That story's annoying. He fucking lost his mind. I've never heard this. You never heard this? No. Man. Oh, we did that whole bit too, right? Don't they punch up their show and just out of yeah. nowhere go? Man. Yes. No, Iraq would know. Iraq, what, what do they do with that? They, yeah, to segue in between scenes, it's just that end of the theme where they just go, uh, man. man. I saw the Miley Cyrus episode with this kid, and he looked very uninterested in Miley Cyrus, and she was looking all hot and shit. Let me tell you something. You don't fall this far into religion like this kid did without something horrific having happened to you. Fine. Wow. Look, I'm not even going to question if this is what he's into. Here's the thing, idiot. Quit the fucking show. He wants to be fired. Quit the fucking show if this is what you believe, and give all the money back that you made. Oh. You got a real nice uh, life because of this show. Yeah, eight really million, nice. Eight million a year. So what fucking give bag. all the money back and 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 do the Lord's work. He's take all the money you made and give it to the, give it to a charity. He's trying to. Then do I would that. respect you. He's under contract for another year. So he quit. Says he doesn't want to be part of the uh, problem. The filth. And, uh, part of the filth and evil. He says that there are two sides. There is um, God's side and the other side. I fucking hate this kid. And I he fucking needs hate him to be right I, on God's side. And he goes, "There's no compromising. You can't be kind of like, hey, I'm with God and I'm religious and stuff, and do a show right uh, like he does to an F men. So uh, he's got to leave all that. Goodbye." <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 350,000 episode and he's crying. What a little jerk off. Did someone put it in his chubby little dumper when he was uh, early on the show? <laughs> someone tag his chubby little dumper? I can't believe it's the same kid. He has a nice fat little rump. Yeah. It's time to get a new fucking half in there anyway. Yeah. They're probably all being nice to him. What's wrong? Are you, you know, they're going to change the script. Up, but you're going to wreck the show. How is it two and a half man when he's like a man now? Uh, uh, it's no. three men, the show. Yeah. The show's three men. Time to get a new half. <clears throat> I bet you they do. I bet you they get a new half. Oh, they will. It's like they killed off Charlie Sheen. They're trying to make a point that they could survive without Charlie Sheen, and so far they've done all right. They man. Survive without this. I kid think they too. even won some awards. Yeah, with uh, Ashton Kutcher. They'll get rid role. of this kid and pop some other kid. But why is it quit the show immediately? You're not, you're not that brave, I guess, because he's sitting there going. I guess we got the clips. Why don't we just play it? Yeah, I think he's Jake from two and a half. What? I think he's crazy enough to quit the show, but. He probably can't because he's under contract for another Quit year. Quit the show. But he's saying he's encouraging people not to watch it. Yes. L so, why don't they just fire him? He's a, he's obviously a jerk off. Just yep. fucking fire him. Fuck him. And they don't need him. No, no one cares about him. No, they need a uh, you know a small kid again. They could drag some small kid in with some of dumb storyline. Oliver. Yeah, do an Oliver. <laughs> what the hell? This fucking asshole sabotaging his coworkers like that. What a yeah. cocksucker this kid is to actually go on and, and all these people that work on this show and you're going to publicly blast it while you're on it. Right. Yeah, don't say, fuck yourself. Don't watch it. Right. Get to, then fucking leave today. They must know he's just a pain in the ass. He must be really pain in the ass to work with too. He's oh. talking about um, uh, observing the Sabbath and everything. So he he uh, oh. can't work. and do, yeah. Little fucking fat kid. Goodbye. Yeah. He sounds like a really fun guy. Uh, under personal life facts, Jones is fond of collecting quirky socks and propeller hats. Yeah, I think Jones has other issues oh, man. that he's hoping God will take out of his mouth, as it were. <laughs> Jake from Two and a Half Men means nothing. He is non-existent character. He's uh, Two and a Half Men. If you watch Two and a Half Men, please stop watching Two and a Half Men. I'm on Two and a Half Men. I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it. Please stop filling your head with filth please it's it's you know people say it's just entertainment the the fact that it's entertainment it, it's do some research on you think he's got some family members that are crying somewhere uh, <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, this is some weird black church that he's involved in oh is it really why why a black church i don't know he, seventh he, day Adventist if, church. Adventist, yeah. He he goes off in the beginning of that clip about how he um, he's trying to explain to this black preacher guy that's next to him. That's a kid. What? Isn't it a kid he's next to? No, he's next to some black dude. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it a kid, kid. meaning someone in his twenties. 
Well, kind of, but he's he's the preacher guy. Really? Yeah, one of he them. He just looked a little too young to be the preacher <clears throat> guy. Yeah, he's one of the preacher guys. All right. What's he trying to explain? And he's explaining how um, uh, he goes. I, I I just I like being around black people. I, I and he's almost sounding apologetic. Like, and I say black people because I was with a friend and he said African American, uh, and I said African American. He said no, I'm black. So I say black. I hope that's okay. Like he's such an apologist, and it's just he's a weird. He seems like a little worm. Like like here's just, he seems like because he's he's been famous for a long time, yeah. so he has no sense of he thinks he has a sense of who he is. Uh, right. Yeah. But he's just trying to find this identity. It's like oh sorry, baby boy, that you were making three hundred fifty thousand a week right. and you didn't have time for your teenage years. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like uh, God, what a part of it. Shithead. Yeah, <laughs> I only hate him because he's attacking a show while he's on it. If he left the show and then said, I don't want to resign, I would have no issue with that. Right. But well, the fact that this little cunt is doing this while he's under contract yeah, right. makes me sick. This selfish little douchebag. He's still employed, man. Why didn't you leave before? You could have yeah. left. Because the money's too good. So what the fuck? What, what is it going to be? If you believe this, then you've got to leave immediately. And, and probably you should give the money back. Yeah. Because you made the you, you got dirty money. You got money that you you made because you were on a filthy show. Yeah. Oh, I don't think Jesus would appreciate that. After watching that oh. video clip, mark my fucking words, he will not have that money long. <laughs> These motherfuckers will fleece oh. him oh, think, of every penny. You think the, the, they, the church is really excited dude, they got a big one? They are creaming over the amount of cash this motherfucker is going to throw into this church. I think you're right. Yeah. Church on the effects of television in your brain and I promise you you'll, you'll have a decision you'll have a decision to make when it comes to the television and especially with what you watch on the television uh, it, it's bad news it's bad news so that's coming I don't know if it means any more coming from me um, no. but you might not have heard it otherwise so uh, just watch out watch out because the a lot of people don't like to think about how deceptive the enemy is. Ah, right. uh, the enemy. Way more. He's been doing this for a lot longer than any of us have been around. Well. So we can't play around. There's no, there's no playing around when it comes to uh, eternity. If we're lukewarm, and if we, uh, you know, if we're behaving like the Laodiceans, you know, it might cause more. It, it is going to cause a lot more harm because people will see us. And be like, oh, I can, I can be a Christian and be on a show like Two and a Half Men. I, you can't, you cannot be a true God-fearing person and be no. on a television show like that. Let me ask you, did they wrap for the season? I don't know. No, they didn't, right? No, they don't. They don't end till like March. So, God, is he embarrassing this kid? How the fuck does he even like? Uh, he's under contract. I don't know. He probably looks at it as like, oh my God, the devil is keeping me in this and i have to remain strong and you know speak out against it and oh, take man. the money um, and fucking if i was one away. of the writers for that show i would just write some oh, evil shit. God, <laughs> yeah oh, i would write some evil shit holy shit all right look make him gay first of all yeah. so he's gotta <laughs> right. he's gotta have gay love scenes <laughs> right everything that is totally against the church make him just have a red face with fucking devil fucking horns <laughs> yes <laughs> have him throw like dots at god or something he continues here. <laughs> a friend of mine at school had told me about. He said a friend of his, and, and this friend was all, was the was the friend that. Couldn't I'm saying go out friend, and, night, right? <laughs> and then things like that, and we never knew why. And um, and he he told me his told me about his friend of his church oh. that was a uh, that uh, I was looking to go to a church with an all black congregation, and. Uh, oh. Kind of Why? Was, you know, I, was, I guess you could say I was looking for like a black gospel theme. I don't know. I just uh, I like black people, and uh, I'm not afraid to say it. And um, oh, what does that mean? You are afraid to say it if you say that. Yeah, he was Do you all understand uncomfortable. That? He's trying. You are so kind hard. of afraid to say that. He's trying so ah, hard to be uh, accepted. Ugh. I can't live high enough in the sky, <sighs> away from everybody. <laughs> I would make him an atheist. Yeah, yeah, make him an or make <laughs> yes. him a devil worshiper. <laughs> right. And he's got to have horrid sexual practices with men, 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 men sucking men men, 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 men. Yeah, men. 
<laughs> Get in there. <laughs> All right, now, uh, what you're going to do is you're a Satan worshiper, and you're slicing the throats of uh, young boys, uh, cutting off the genitals, and uh, eating them. Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you gotta look up a god and go, hey, why don't you buzz off? Um, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I say, uh, I say yeah. black, I say black because, like, I have a friend, a friend of mine, he was a Bible worker, oh. and he's black, and he says to me, I'm not African American. Right. I was not born in Africa. I am black. Right. Uh, he says that to me, <laughs> so I, I, I'm now, I'm not afraid, I, I know. Black people, rock, black people rock. You're good. Don't worry. Yeah. Black people rock. I just have to make sure because you know I don't. I don't know. Black people you know, I know rock. Take things personally. Do I mean, they? No offense. Uh, oh, I hate uh, his uh, head. Whatsoever. So anyone. How hateable Angus, you? Angus, Angus is whatever. good. Angus is good. You're good. You're good, bro. You're good. You, you got a pass. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Good. You're good. Um. <laughs> um. So I was looking to go. I was looking to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, it just goes on and on. Uh, it, 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 he's lost. Boy, is he lost. You think Kirk Cameron's excited today? Oh. Uh, he's got a new best pal. <laughs> Look at how hot Miley Cyrus was in this episode, and the kid could care less, or couldn't care less, however the fuck that shit works. You know what I'm trying to say. Look, the kiss <sighs> is awkward. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, boy. Show's filthy. <laughs> I'll go back. This was a huge episode this year because right, they got Miley Cyrus to guest star, and there's a, a whole bunch of clips of just this kid. You guys, let's do. Hi, soldier. Hello. You must be Jake. I'm sleeping in your room. Oh, God bless America. You are just so sweet. I swear I could just eat you up, but you know, then I'd probably get a sugar rush. Oh, okay. Missy's still sleeping. No, nah, she's in the shower. <laughs> Oops. I get another pass in like a month, so maybe we can see each other then. I sort of have a boyfriend. A boyfriend? But I thought you... Goodbye, Jake. Don't be a hero. He basically was part of the, the filthiest episode. Oh, I'll just goodness. Miley <laughs> Cyrus pretty much just has her tits hanging out the oh, entire episode. Man. This dialogue Filthy. stinks, by the way. Oh, yeah, of course. It stinks. It's America terrible. is eating it up, though. They're eating it up. Awful. I'd make him really evil or something. So but, do, yeah. does like anyone he, anyone know about this show? Because it seems like he, if if he's a an army guy, that he's not on the show a lot. That he's coming that's and going. Probably what they so did. So maybe that maybe they're already on to his shit. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone know? Is he on as much as he used to be? Because he said, I'll, "I'll be on leave. You know, I'll get another pass in a few." Yeah, months. they probably put him in that situation where it's like, "Oh, he's uh, yeah, he's away." Right. <laughs> Get that nut off the set. He's a downer. Jesus. I like black people. I, uh, oh, please. My friends like black people. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Black people rock. <laughs> uh, more than white people? Really? So you wanted to find a church that was specifically just black people so you could just go in there and be like, look at me, how crazy liberal and, and nice I am to the black people. If I were him, if I were him, I'd, I'd write an episode where he's got to stand up and say, hey, God sucks a bunch of peckers. <laughs> That's pretty good, Chip. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, God, no. Okay. We got some info. Oh, Cause none of us watch this dumb show, so we need some uh, some knowledge. And of course, uh oh, the why just go to the phone? Yeah, plunk down the phone. Oh, what's the matter? Take a call. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I mean, does your phone fuck up like this at home? No. Why can't we have phones that work on a regular basis? I must say, I thought it was checked out pre-show. Could you, you answer it that way, maybe? Is there a button? I mean, everything seems to be working, but I can't, like, click that. Is everything I'm in sure. order? So we probably have to reboot, right? Is everything in order? We can still take it, though. Yeah, pop that guy down. Mm. I just don't have phone problems in my own my house like this. Is that working for you? Johnny? No, unfortunately hey, it's not. Me. Talk to me, Johnny. Johnny? <laughs> oh, talk to me, Johnny. <laughs> well, they played the commercial, by the way, for... Um, was that Rambo? It's the first one. First Blood. First Blood. And I, they keep playing that part where it's like, 
Uh, that many men? Well, you better bring a good supply of body bags. The way he <laughs> says, how he says it. The way he says body bags. Body. Well, you better have a good supply of body bags. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh, am I working now? <laughs> body bags. <laughs> Fucking Danny for the win. Oh, shit. Johnny and Queens. What's up? Good Talk morning, to me, guys. Johnny. What's up, Johnny? Yeah. yeah, listen, I still watch this dumb show for some reason, and this kid has hardly been on it all year. Wow. Whenever he's on, he's talking to Charlie Harper there, you know, uh, whatever his name is. Uh, I don't know any of the characters' names. Well, he oh. talks to him through his computer. Okay. Everything's oh. video chat. Oh, that's handy. So just to let you know, something's going on. He's hardly on All right, it so, all. so he made it very, uh, made everyone aware before the public uh, found out, which is today right. for yeah. us. So they already know. Oh, yeah. So they're like, look, all right, you, you got to fucking, you know, work with us a little bit here. And yeah. we'll, we'll fucking phase you out. Yes. Seems, it seems that's what they're doing. Yep, but he should give his money back, that fucking kid. Yeah, I mean, you know, if he wants to think this way, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to fucking beat him up for that part of it. But I will because I this quit is the so show far immediately. crazy. I hate him. <laughs> quit the show immediately and give back the filthy money you made Hope from he a dies. filthy show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Ant, he likes black people, Ant. I see. <laughs> Gotta go, boys. I like black people. No, I really do. I really like black people. Yeah. No, I'm not scared to say that shit. I make him. I write an episode right where he gets to go up to heaven and cut a bunch of farts. All right, now they're coming in. Frank from Jersey. They should write an episode where he gets mad at a black guy and <laughs> calls him a nigger. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's the whole episode. <laughs> He's dropping N-bombs. That would be great. A very special episode. Very special. No, we're going to make it a very special episode. <laughs> going to slow down the theme. Yeah. Men, men, men. Yeah. What, do they, what do they change that to? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kirk Cameron does suck. Oh, he's another one that went crazy uh, religion, right? Yeah. Yep. This guy went that uh, like if you just want to fucking you know get a little religion, anyway. but this guy went so far into it, it yeah. can only spell. That something horrible happened. Well, there's to a lot him. of people like that out there. Yeah. What are you going to do? But that won't affect everyone else's lives. Yeah. Fucking just move on. Unbelievable. Evil. Is that show really evil? I know it sucks. It's evil. I can tell you this much it sucks. It's something I would never watch, but is it actually evil? Is it yes. actually. It's literally Is it really evil. filthy? Yes. Terribly evil. When the show comes up, I feel like uh -oh. it's like a different country reporting because I've never seen the show yeah. and I can't imagine people who watch it. So yeah. I always feel like, oh, that's that show that's on in Germany or something. Like I, that. Get, <laughs> I gave up on that fluff shit years ago. And, and we're supposed to kind of like maybe watch that stuff for our radio show. I just can't do it. That's All that fluffy TV. No, thank you. I have zero interest in it. If my dad watches it in reruns and laughs, then that's not what I want to watch. That's exactly what I shouldn't be watching. He laughs at it. Oh, I think he loves that show. Really? Oh, yeah, I don't understand. Oh, yeah. boy. The writing's terrific. It's all that middle of the country stuff. You oh, know? yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three years ago today, Tiger Woods crashed the SUV. That was a quick three years. Wow. Enjoy your life. <laughs> <laughs> that's a quick three, right? Man, yeah. Better bring a good supply of body bags. Why? Well, now I got to hear that clip. Body bags. Get um, Rambo? It's, Rambo um, trailer. First blood, right? Yeah. First, first blood. Body bags line. Yeah, there it is. All right, turn the volume off. This is so douchey. I'm a possessed god in heaven to make a man like Rambo. Oh, oh boy. God didn't make Rambo. I made him. Oh, this is so bad. I made him. Sam Trumpman. Colonel Samuel Trotman. Oh, oh, shit. We're a little busy this morning, Colonel. What can I do for you? I've come to get my boy. Your boy? Oh. I recruited him. Jesus. I trained him. I commanded him in Vietnam for three years. <laughs> I'd say that makes him mine. It's I wonder so why the Pentagon would send a full bird colonel down here to handle this. The Army thought I might be able to help him. Well, I don't know in what way. Rambo's a civilian now. He's my problem. I don't think you understand. Oh, boy. I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. No. 
I came here to rescue you from him. Well, we all appreciate your concern, Colonel. I will try to be extra careful. I'm just amazed that he allowed any of your posse to live. Oh, boy. Oh, is that right? Is that that is Strictly speaking, he's Brian slept Brian Dennehy up. rules, though. It's You're lucky to be breathing. That's just great. Colonel, you came out here to find out why one of your machines blew a gasket. You don't seem to want to accept the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. With a man who's the best. Oh, this is horrible. Lies with his bare hands. Oh. A man who's been trained to ignore pain. Oh. Ignore weather. To live off the land. Oh. To eat things and to make a billy goat puke. He rocks. In Vietnam, his job was to dispose of enemy personnel. Oh. To kill. Period. <laughs> Win by attrition. Well, Rambo was the best. Oh. <laughs> okay, Colonel, now you got us all scared to death. What do you and the special forces <laughs> think evil. I ought to do about your psycho out there? Let him go. Do what? For now. Diffuse the whole situation. Diffuse him. Provide a little gap and let him slip through it. Then put out a nationwide APB. In a couple of weeks, you'll pick him up in Seattle or someplace working in a car wash. There'll be no fight and nobody else will get hurt. I do my own work. I don't figure the best way to do that is to close my eyes and then hope he gets picked up in Seattle. Oh, I think it's coming. Well, if you send your people in there after him, they'll get killed. You know, we're just a small hick town sheriff's department, Colonel, but we're expected to do our duty just like our heroes in the special forces. In special forces, we teach our people to stay alive in the line of duty. No shit. I never thought of that. You want a war? You Here can't win. Are you blades. telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that many. Don't forget one thing. What? A good supply of body bags. <laughs> A good supply of body bags. Uh, <laughs> a good supply of body bags. Can I tell you what I hate in, in, in writing? That was so uncomfortable. Yeah. When the, everyone's talking about the character the way the character would want to be spoken about. Yes! <laughs> oh. Nobody tangles with Norton. Norton's the best! <laughs> Written by Norton. <laughs> How fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Whenever they That's talk about true. you the way the way you'd want to overhear people talking right. about you, like yes. you're cool. Yeah, Rambo's the best. He's out there. No, no weather, nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, like the postman, rain or sleet or snow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is there any boy. of Stallone's dialogue in this from that movie? That was the least uh, awful of those movies, and they were all pretty fucking bad. Uh, 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 John. First one was good for its time. Oh, I always hate it. You didn't like it ever. No. It's Anyways. over, Johnny. <laughs> no, it's over. Oh, Nothing is over. Oh. Nothing. You just don't turn it off. It wasn't my war. You asked me. I didn't ask you. What? And I did what I had to do to win. But somebody wouldn't let us win. Ah. And I come back to the world. And I see all those maggots at the airport. Protesting me. Spitting. Calling me baby killer and all kinds of vile crap. Who are they to protest me, huh? Who are they? Unless they've been me and been there oh. and know what the hell they're yelling about. It was a bad time for everyone, Rambo. <laughs> it's all in the past now. <laughs> for you! For me, civilian life is nothing. In the field, we had a code of honor. Oh, you God. watch my back, I watch yours. Oh. Back here, there's nothing. You're the last of an elite group. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I can fly a gunship. I can drive a tank. I was in charge of million dollar equipment. Back here, I can't even hold a job. Fucking guys! Oh! <laughs> you're the last of an elite group. Yeah, mm. you're the best there ever was, Rambo. Uh. Though they broke the mold with you. <laughs> There'll never be another one like you. A good supply of body bugs. <laughs> <laughs> no good dialogue had been sent. <laughs> Here's to swimming with bow-legged women, Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> Lifeless dialogue. Like a doll's dialogue. <laughs> He's selling it. Oh, he's God. selling it. He's doing oh. okay. Yeah, I mean, this is—it's not as bad of a scene as oh, I was hoping it would be. He's but it's ball. still irritating. It really is. We've talked about that shit on our own show. These guys yeah. coming back from Iraq—that they were in charge of all sorts <laughs> of crazy shit. Now they're driving a minivan, getting stuck in rush hour traffic. I can't even imagine how you deal with that. Yeah. Uh, you wow. snap like Rambo like did. Like Rambo. You take a town hostage. Ugh. You let him go. Someone uh, make a gap for him to slip out of, unless you got a good supply of body bags. Yeah, like a, like the hole in this story. You let, <laughs> you let him slip out. <laughs> someone, someone close to us who's uh, 
<laughs> who's certainly in uh, the shit. He lost one of his guys that came home and couldn't handle. Oh, really? Yeah. It just sucks. It's sad, actually. It happens like after every war. And, just like, uh, and the same story, you know, you would never expect this type of person, you know, this person uh, yeah. to do something like that. But he just. Uh, it's crazy. He just couldn't adjust when he got back uh, to the States. Yeah. Horrible. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. If you're the shit over there doing all sorts of crazy stuff, you get out and then and then what? I like it over here. <laughs> I don't have to worry about nothing. What happens to those guys? <laughs> I don't know. You turn into bunny. Yeah. Nobody fucks with you. No one nobody fucks with you. Yeah, what do you say about dying? Because you only gotta yeah. worry about dying. And that don't make no day. <laughs> he talks about, is that uh Oh no, Tango and Cash. No. Since we're talking about Stallone's cinematic masterpieces. Oh god. That was a bad one. How gay was Tango and Cash? You mean they, awesome? They loved each other. It's an awesome movie though. Oh. Nice. Look at it. We're watching movie clips now. Jeez. I just wanted to get to that the whole supermarket scene. Freeway in of oh, that's good luck. And of course he... I hate Stallone uh, glasses. Uh, like he's got a little snub nose oh, revolver. You know I, I'm an asshole. I'm thinking of the wrong... I was thinking of Cobra the whole time. Oh, <laughs> Cobra's a good one. Shit. Sorry. He's taking his yeah, he snub nose 38 and I want some dialogue. Up. Find some Tango and Cash dialogue. Between the two of them. Between, all right, all right. If you want to just watch the trailer, maybe that might help. No, they're just the banter back and forth. Hello, Tango. Good point, Cash. Yeah. Uh, wait, what's going to happen? If he doesn't move. Oh, oh man. Oh, the truck stops short and the two punks fly out the window. Glad you could drop in. Ah! Uh, like jewelry? Oh, fuck you. I prefer blinds. Do the honors. Yeah. This time the cops pull up. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're out of control, yeah, Tango or Cash. Whichever one you are. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play by the rules. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Hey, man, snappy remark. Uh, this is our jurisdiction. This snappy dialogue drives me fucking nuts in here, movies. Here it comes. Ray, hey, Kevin, what the hell's going on here? You <laughs> <laughs> blew out the window of this truck. I know. We got two guys lying on the road. Don't I know describe this is a federal it. highway, and we're out of our jurisdiction. <laughs> uh, what the hell's going on? I heard a rumor about this truck. What about this truck? It's not a truck. A gas truck. No. It's a major moving violation. <sighs> Did you check the first panel? It's full of gas, sir. Check the whole truck, asshole. There's nothing in it. Oh. And you're out of your neighborhood, big city boy. Oh, my God. I want God. your badge. I want your weapon. I want your I didn't think that was a good take. You are. He thinks he's Rambo. Oh, that's kind of Rambo funny. Rambo is a pussy. Oh. Whoa. Oh, man. We shot the gas truck. That's great. What do you know? It's snowing. Ah, uh, so how did, uh, could you see that in court? How did you acquire the evidence? <laughs> oh, the, he got shot, the uh, gas truck? Yeah. Well, get out of here. Get I'll be damned. He referenced a douchey I movie he had done. That. Yes. And then he fired his weapon into what we thought was a gas tanker. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heck of a cop. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awful. What the hell's going on here? The, oh. be the best was when he had dialogue with, with uh, Kirk. Oh, it's Gentlemen's so. Gentlemen's cash and tango. Oh. Dishonored, imprisoned. <laughs> what a shameful fall from glory. And who are you? Just think of me as somebody Believe who. Believe it or not. <laughs> George Takata. Doesn't like you very much. Yeah. The surprise party's definitely out. Oh, they have like witty banter, witty repartee. Oh, yeah. That's the guy I followed to the setup. Don't panic. Taunty Tango. Oh, no. You're a pretty boy, aren't you? I'm panicking. How'd you like me to change it for you? I wouldn't. How about you? Oh. Maybe you first. Don't panic. Oh, this is so bad. I'll cut your bloody throat. Oh, yeah, this guy's terrible. Is this supposed to be Australian or Cockney? I don't want to tell you. That's him. 
Right, boy. You want to cut my throat? Go ahead. Huh? You want to cut my fucking head off and use it for a fucking basketball? You can fool the motherfucker for all I care. Just don't let him do it. I don't want to get killed by this limey immigrant jerk off. I want to get killed by an American jerk off. You fucking wanker. Put it away for now. Oh. <laughs> this is just was all. That, I can't even do this, this anymore. Terrible. It's so <laughs> bad. I love how we're just watching a movie. What are you doing? <laughs> Time. Jack Palance, that's who it is. Jack no, no, no. Palance! The dialogue is just so bad. Oh shit, it's Conan. What? It's Conan. We're gonna get food bar now. What the hell's food bar? You'll see. Oh no. Real badass cops. Oh no. <laughs> you this know, this so is so terrible. Nah, you can stop this. You. This is unwatchable. Do fuck! Must mean you. Is that I'm his real jaw? Uh, huh? Is what? that that guy's real jaw? It looks it's like it's amazing. <laughs> like, it's fucking, he's like a cartoon. That's a fucked up jaw. Uh, That's fucked up. John in Jersey. John? Yes, sir. Hey, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you guys got to find the scene where uh, they're in the shower together and they're me measuring each other's pricks. Oh, uh, yeah, that is. Uh, um, there's a shower scene, as I recall. Let's try to Tango find Tango in cash in the shower. Thank you, sir. That's not a uh, it's one of those shitty clips. Yeah, people recorded off of their... Um, Television. Mm. <laughs> oh, gay. <laughs> Tango. Don't have a good copy of it. Uh, not immediately. All oh, right. Those movies, though, at the time, I guess they were like. Well, I mean, like everybody saw Tango and Cash, and you didn't walk out of the theater going, oh, "I fucking sucked." I was. You I was walked out the, going, "It was fucking cool." That was just the writing style, too. I mean, no one's gonna accept that type of writing nowadays, obviously. <sighs> But it was accepted back then. Like all the now, shit. if you wrote like that, it would be an absolute parody. You know yeah, what I mean? it is. It's and and there were so many movies back then that had the same fucking shit. Sure, the pissed off captain and the rogue cop. Lethal Weapon pulled it off. Those movies pulled it off. Yes, I love and the Barbarian. Yeah. I can't get any more volume over here. No. Me and my ass will be in the neighborhood. Oh. <laughs> I think you're going to be very popular here. Why? I don't see your fans love either. Why are they having a good time? They're always... Like they're marching into prison. Right. And, and they're they're making that witty banter with everything they do. Not... They, they could be like on the brink of being killed. Like, ah, oh, kill them, kill them. Oh, well, looks like we're going to be killed. But they're... Hey, you got a funny line? <laughs> but their idea of an out-of-control prison was to just throw papers around. Right. You see that? A flaming Even that little was piece douchey. of paper being thrown Who around. Who has fucking paper in their cell? How about cell? some shit and urine? Right, it would be shit, urine, Ass spit. fucking. And these two don't have a worry in the world, no. ever. No. Just two cool guys saying funny things back and forth. No matter how bad they... Oh, I think you passed it. What happened? There it is. Oh, yeah. What is that? <laughs> uh, it looks like they're... Yeah, but but Stall looks like he's bending over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so, wow. Wow. Oh, my God. That's terrible stuff. When we get back, we're going to talk about Brad Pitt's wonderful commercial. Mm -hmm. Speaking of douchey, we'll continue down this Ooh. road. He's doing something very douchey. And also, we got um, Jamie Foxx talking about Obama. Oh, boy. Your boy, Obama. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I said the boy thing. <laughs> oh, again. Jesus. I didn't mean it like that. Jesus. Racist. People tend to get a, up in arms when you say boy. Why can't you just say boy? I don't know. <laughs>